Let's go to the Sun Belt. Marshall travels to Old Dominion. And this is a big game, guys, because in the Sun Belt East, there are several teams that are clamoring for spots, right? You look at Georgia Southern, James Madison, and Marshall, right? Marshall right now has the best record in the Sun Belt East, okay, with only one loss. They're traveling to Old Dominion, who is favored against Marshall this game. So this is a huge game. This would turn up a ton of stuff. And Georgia Southern has looked vulnerable. Georgia Southern has a tiebreaker over James Madison and Marshall. But Georgia Southern could slip up one of these last two weeks and open the door for, you know, another team like James Madison, right? So, like, all three of those teams have a real, real chance of pulling this thing off. And uh, so when I look at this game, man, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Old Dominion favored by two and a half. After I talked so highly cold to Joseph, he's had two kind of – dudders of weeks and what i mean by that last week he wasn't very efficient right the week before that it was turnovers he had something like six five or six turnovers like alone from fumbles and interceptions not good right but i do think old dominion here and you might look at this and you'd be like okay where does marshall have the advantage right oh marshall's top 10 in the country in sacks oh my gosh and that was by the way they lost their it's mike green rusher. yeah yeah well yeah it they lost their best pass rusher last year to the portal, one of their best passers to the portal, and they're still producing at the Alamo. You're like, oh, my God, Old Dominion's like 33 sacks. That's 123rd in the country. Oh, my gosh. Well, well let's be real. Once Colton Joseph got entered into the lineup, the pressure to sack rate went significantly down. Colton Joseph does a good job using his legs and mobility to avoid taking sacks. I also think he gets rid of the, I also think he gets rid of the football pretty effectively. So I don't see the advantage necessarily there like some people would. But – uh. I do think something's going to break right here, dude. Both these teams aren't very good at throwing the football. They're both not great defending the run, but these teams also both run the ball pretty well, particularly Marshall. I I think a couple things travel, right? I think defense, and I think Marshall, while they're not a great defense, I think they're a slightly better defense than Old Dominion. And I also think your run game also travels as well. But I can't shake this feeling that I have that Old Dominion is actually a good football team. I'm going to lay the two and a half with Old Dominion. I'm going to feel terrible about it. I'm going to feel terrible about it. Something's going to happen. They're going to blow this game. I don't know what's going to happen, right? But the second that I start putting money down on Old Dominion, they start stinking it up. So I am I am on Old Dominion here, and I don't feel great about it. I think Marshall, you know, bringing that run game – it's going to have kind of a big impact here. I mean, and Old Dominion isn't particularly amazing against the run. I would say that they're all right when it comes to Sun Belt teams. You know, they would be a lot better if they had, you know, their star linebacker, Jason Henderson, for the season. But, unfortunately, they haven't had him, and they've had to deal without him. But I think they do, and I think they somehow find a way to do enough at home here. And I hope that happens because I think the Sun Belt race just looks so much crazier than after that because – Let's see. Yeah, it would it would come down then to if Georgia Southern loses this weekend, Marshall and James Madison are literally playing in James Madison next week. The winner goes to the Sun Belt Championship. That's awesome. That, that is awesome. This we talked about this all year. We talked about Sun Belt a good amount, and it's not really. It's definitely a little bit down, I think, at the top end. Like last year, you had a couple really good teams. This year, you have a lot of solid teams that are going to go bowling. And maybe we might fade them, maybe we won't. But I, it's going to be, it's been really, really interesting. And especially with Louisiana losing last week, that division got interesting. With Marshall here in Old Dominion, yeah, you, you said it, man. Marshall loves to run the football. And both these teams do, right? And I, I think if you're in the Sun Belt, you, you want to run the football well. And that's a big thing here. And that does travel for Marshall. But A.J. Turner, who's one of the better running backs in college football, let alone just mm -hmm. in the Sun Belt, he's had an ankle injury. And I've been scouring some some Marshall boards here, trying to find some stuff. And I really can't. And, and I want to take Marshall because I really was really impressed with how they played last week against Coastal Carolina. Even without A.J. Turner, they didn't run the ball well. But they – I mean, Braylon Braxton was efficient. Three touchdowns, zero interceptions. They moved the ball well, right? You know, converting on third down wasn't terrible. And 
it, it was just it was kind of impressive, and they they, they kind of jumped on Marshall or jumped on Coastal Carolina. I know there was the turnovers and all that stuff, but it it's going to be an interesting game. The line is super small. I think Old Dominion is you know two and a half point favorites at home, so it's about you know even at neutral site, these teams are pretty much power ranked the same. I just feel a little bit more better in Marshall right now. A little bit more. And if you're going to give me two and a half, this game could be really, really close. So I guess I'll take Marshall um, to go on the road here and get a win. I also do think they are staring down. A win here would do massive things for the outlook of their, you know, Sunbelt hopes here. Obviously, they do have a tough finish with Old Dominion and James Madison, both on the road down the stretch here. But, man, oh, man, I, I, I like more. I just barely like Marshall in the spot. It'll be interesting now. And, God, man. I don't know. I just, I can't get over Cole Joseph did, man. He, he's just been, he was really good against Georgia Southern. And then since then, you know, I mean, he was good against that, but he had the turnover. And then, even before Georgia week, he, Southern, like he was, he was playing good football, dude. That's part of the reason why I got high on him. Like, oh, I'm going to buy my old Dominion stock. Before people figure well, out who Colton Joseph is, and then well, and if he's running the ball well, he's a dangerous football player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you're you're right. So, and we'll see if he's able to do that, you know, against a pretty ferocious Marshall pass rush, right? So, yeah, I, I don't hate your pick at all. I told you, I I don't like my pick with Old Dominion, but I'm just more of a vibes pick than anything, and you know, my vibes picks are usually like way off. So it is what it is. <laughs>